welcome. I am Dr. Anil Joshi. Welcome you to my series Learn Radiology Basics from Professor. Today's topic is a small procedure that is called invertogram. Though it's a small process, it can lead to a good information and a guide surgeon for a lot of uh, surgeries which are going to be needed there onward. Now, invertogram is a procedure done where patient is suspected to have clinically ARA that is anorectal malformation or imperforated anus. Now essentially if you see the large bowel this is a pathology of a terminal segment. Uh, as you can see here the entire large bowel and then comes the anal canal and this is the abnormality imperforated anus is the abnormality of uh, in rectal region. Now, in notogram is done when clinically a child is suspected to have or newborn is suspected to have in perforated anus. Now, let us go to the introduction. In notogram is used for classification of types of ARA, that is anorectal malformation, whether it is a high type, whether it is a low type, or whether it is an intermediate type. It is agreed, I also agree, it's uncomfortable for patient and is technically difficult. It is a skill of a technician also. Technician has to get a dead lateral, what we are going to see in subsequent films. A correct lateral film is very essential for interpretation of these pathologies. Since there are technical difficulties for inverted valve, certain people have invented other methods like prone cross table lateral view as an alternative but we have adapted our center has adapted to a procedure of invertogram and we are getting it fairly well now pro cross table lateral is also alternative but it is preferred in certain centers any of the above views are ideal for classification of either atresia or neonatal high or low types of or intermediate type of Inverted malformations. Now, invertogram has got a big history. It's since long time. First, it was described by Bangerstein and Rice in 1930. So, it, this was a procedure described first time in 1930. Then, Stephen described PC line, that is tubo procedure line, which makes a basic of this investigation. Unless we draw a tubo procedure line, we cannot interpret the invertograms. He invented it by dissecting around 25 steel bonds. So the study has come from the steel box and by Stephen by dissecting of 20 steel bond pelvises. Now how the technique is? It is performed 6 to 8 hours after the birth. Now why 6 to 8 hours? Once a child starts crying, there will be evophagy. Then the bowel gas will start from stomach and it has to reach to the other end that it has to travel from stomach, small bowel, large bowel and it has to delineate the last terminal segment of the large bowel so it takes around 6 to 8 hours or some people feel it is 20 to 24 hours so it is the practice of any institute as to when it is to be done but it is done definitely in less than 24 hours because of this it will be possible to measure the distance between the air column the air column and the anal dimple or pubococcial line whether the air shadows are below it or above it so these are the methods of interpretation the abdomen should be free of protection or as we say it should be a lateral film if it is not lateral film if it is rotated film your interpretation is going to go wrong now in this procedure baby has to help upright it's well known that the initial reflexes or baby's information as baby is not comfortable is for two things one thing is for the loud sounds and second is the feeling of dropping down so these are the two fears baby has got we have to conduct this procedure holding baby up and down that also in the radiology department so there are a lot of things which we have to take care before we take patient to the now preparing the room Preparing the relatives, getting the machine, the exposure ready is the first required thing we should do. 
Before that, we should not move baby. For the reason I told you, baby is very sensitive to falling down sensation and loud noise. Now, how we prepare the room? We take the cassette, we keep it at the position, vertical. Then we keep baby on the table. We explain relatives as baby is going to be upside down. So how to hold baby is to put a finger in between leg, leg and hold like this and the neck has to be supported below. So what we are really interested in the region of pelvis. We are not interested in head or the tail or the end of the legs. So these two things they can be supported. Now we have to prepare the room. We are going to keep first the cassette, then we are going to train the relatives. Then we are going to keep the exposure on and then only we are going to hold patient in this position. Otherwise baby will start crying or baby will be uncomfortable and start moving vigorous. Now immobilization technique is the correct technique, is a proper technique you will have to follow in this. The success rate of Invodola depends on how you follow a technique. If you follow a good technique, yes, 100% you will get a good Invodola in first attempt only. To prevent rotation or motion artifact, the radiograph, radiographer, relatives, then uh, the instructing person all needs to be knowing their job. So first the patient is relatives are explained how to hold the baby, technician keep everything ready and then only the baby is taken to the film. Now once the X-ray is taken, it is put in a digitalizer. We see it on the screen. Now on screen, how to know that this is the correct invertebral? There are categories. Both the HCL bones would superimpose. They will superimpose. There has to be superimposition of the, both the HCL bones. Both the femur has to overlap. So the there has to be a proper lateral position. Spine has to be lateral, pelvis has to be lateral, femur has to overlap each other and then only it will be called as a technically correct invertebral. And detailed air column should be seen in it. If air column is not seen, then we have to go for a erect X-ray. So what we have really advising in these patients are, first you go for erect abdomen. First you go for erect abdomen and unless you are sure the gas is traveling through the colon and reaching the rectum, do not go for an invertebral. So before invertebral, a erect X-ray has to be Taken. Now, there are certain fallacies. If the air is going into the vagina or otherwise, it will give a false interpretation. So that has to be coexisting abnormalities has to be kept in mind, especially fistula strikes. Now there are three important lines. One is called a PC line. That is pubopossigial line. The PC line stretches from upper border of symphysis pubis to the sacrocossigial junction. So this is PC line. Now second is ischial line, what we call as I line. The ischial line and I point are related to ossification centers of the ischial, which is a comma shaped structure. It looks like comma shape on the lateral X-ray. The I point determines X-ray at inferior end of the ischial comma. So that is how you have to calculate it. Then NRP is usually one to two centimeter caudal to this ossified. So these are the criteria. But practically what we really consider is a PC line. Now interpretation. A gas bubble situated above the PC line is designated as high type. So high type is when the gas shadow is situated above the PC line. Now if the gas is crossing the PC line, it is called as low type. And third category is the intermediate. Now as we are seeing, the invertebra, though technically difficult, is excellent information. And if you, we have got proper team, I do not feel there is any difficulty in getting a nodogram. But if we are finding difficulties, then cross table pro is the second alternative or third is the CD in nodography. But both things we feel are not as good as a lateral in nodogram. Now what are the technical aspects? Since this procedure we are doing as in nodogram, by doing it by other methods like CD or by pro, we are not uh, having our own experiences on it because we are not doing it. But let us see theoretically. The radiograph is taken in class table after view, okay, with hips elevated above the poster. So we keep a poster, elevate the hip and take a class table lateral view. The prone cross table lateral view has few advantages like the baby is comfortable. 
maybe it's not for them, definitely. The, it is usually advisable, slightly later than in order, maybe 12 hours or 24 hours. Now, the procedure is done after 12 to 24 hours. It is a cross-table flow position, baby is comfortable. Now, how to mark a NL dimple? That is usually done with a barium paste or contrast flow cause this. Now, it's an institution practice where they prefer whichever method. A catheter may be placed in urethra for determination of urethra. Whenever it is essential, we have never found any indication to it, neither we are following it. It is what has been described and what is the theoretical one. The greater trochanter should be marked with a marker on the upper thigh. Okay, greater trochanter marked. So that helps you for lining the drop. Now, XA beam has to be centered at this point. So the greater trochanter mark on the body helps you to center the XA. Now, this is overall both the method. What are the fallacies? You are doing inverted one. You are getting the result, not matching with the subsequent uh, clinical settings. So what can be a reason? Insufficient time given for gas to reach terminal bowel. So if you take film too early, the gas may not get time to reach to the rectum. So this is most important. Mucosal plug in terminal gut may produce an anonymously high shadow. So this is a deceptive finding which we are going to see when we are going to have a film reading session. And that is why we always say do first erect abdomen and know what is the pathological status of the bowel and then only go for the inverted Now gas can escape through the fistula and make confusing interpretation. Okay, this is one of a theoretical possibility. But it can be rarely seen if fistulas are existing. If fistulas are not there, then the question of this doesn't come. Distortion by X-ray magnification resulting into appearance of a larger gap between the gas and the between the gas of the terminal rectum and whatever anal marking you have taken. Maybe a radiopic marker, maybe a costis. If that distance is more, then okay, you can go wrong in the interpretation. Then uh, uh, gas in vagina because of the fistula strike, yes, obviously it can cause a problem. Ultrasound technique has been advised. We have followed it, we have tried it. But most of the time it doesn't correlate with the inverted findings. Maybe because of the subjective order. But what is, let us see what it is. The ultrasonic examination has been used to know the pouch perineal distance. Now we are going to see it when we go to film reading. I will show you the film, I will show you how it is done. And I will tell you the, what are the fallacies of it. Then infra procedural route may directly demonstrate the pubo rectalis as a hypo U-shaped band. Okay, this is one of the advantage of this. Or it can be a benefit over the immodogram. It, um, technically, it can be done either as a trans perineal or trans procedure. Or just keep the probe over abdomen and angulate it. It's a non-invasive measure, radiation free, can be repeated again and again, and it's safe. Babies are comfortable. Then, uh, what are the disadvantage? It's highly observer dependent. If ultrasonal offer goes wrong, if the angulation of probe is wrong, then there can be serious error. Now see, this is the ultrasonic. You can, in first and second film, you are seeing a dilated rectum with fluid field. Now, uh, the below are the meuconium in the dilated rectum. Now, let us see the practicality of the film. We have seen a PC line helps in, that is you go passenger line. So, basic is to draw a PC line. Once you draw a PC line in a inodogram, your half job is over. But before that, always I say, take, 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 erect abdomen. So this is the inodogram with PC line. Now, anomalies, this is high tech. One of the advantages of going for the plain X-ray before the inodogram, you are seeing here. You can know about the adjacent structure. You can know the colon. You can know where the obstruction is. Additionally, you can know the spine. This patient has got or this baby has got segmental fusion along the spine causing open type of defect that is manigosi. Now, if you see very carefully, the x is taken in erect position first. What it shows? It shows you the gas has not crossed terminal rectum. It has not crossed to the transverse colon. It has not gone to ascending colon. So, where the gas is stuck up, 
is in the distal. Now this is one of a method of marking a anal dimple. We don't do it because we don't need it. But it has been described, it has been followed at certain centers. So this is the inverdogram showing PC line, high type and you can see the uh, inner marker. Now here you are seeing uh, pubococcygeal line slightly extended because of the illustration purpose and the gas is going above that. Above that means it has to be a low type. Now what we are seeing here, the erect abdominal showing over distended area. Now there is another lecture series in which we have described a pediatric or neonatal erect abdomen and how to know the pathologies. Now this is usual because of either ileal atresia or impacted mucosa into the terminal area. In this case, there is no role of inodogram. Now this is inodogram with PC line. Now look at the PC line. Some error in rotation, some error in drawing a PC line can put it above or below. So routinely, it is our routine to put it as the ambiguous or intermediate type instead of committing for low type or high type anomaly. Now again, erectile problem is showing absent colonic gas and this is definitely a contraindication for inotogram. So patient refer to a inotogram or send back with this. Now here inotogram is with PC line. Sometimes it's very easy to draw PC line. Look at the technical factors. It is an absolute dead lateral. On the spine is seen as the lateral. Now see the femur, both femurs are exactly overlying on each other. So if that is the case, it's easy to draw a PC line and easy to give a correct interpretation. The teddy goes to a technician who has taken a good radiograph. Now look here, the rectal gas is crossing pubococcygeal line. That means it, is, it has to be a low type. Low type anomaly, a PC line, the rectal gas is crossing PC line. So it has to be again a low type. Now why do you high type or low type? It is very simple. The high type are associated with multiple other abnormalities. So if you are diagnosing a inotogram, if you are saying that patient has got a high type of uh, AI, enorical malformation, subsequently patient need to be investigated what is happening with the blind ending course whether there is a communicating fistula which usually occurs into the urinary tract or into the vagina. If that is the case, it needs to be seen subsequently. So one of the indications of inverterogram is to guide future as to any other investigations are required or not. Now here you are seeing higher PC line. You are seeing technically how an inverterogram is to be taken. It needs a lot of practice. It needs good technician. It needs gaining a good confidence of the patient's relatives. Because usually babies hold by patients' relatives. Baby needs to be supported at both the ends, that is above we hold it legs and below we hold it to the shoulders or chest. So both things baby has to be fixed properly. The leg has to be extended. Often the baby has got flex attitude for the legs. So it needs to be extended. When legs are extended, they usually have to overlap on each other. So a true lateral is a must for getting a proper picture. So to get a good lateral exchange for inverterogram interpretation is extremely essential. Not only that, before going for inverterogram, please see that you have taken inverterogram after appropriate time, that is after 8 hours to 10 hours. And thirdly, you have taken an erect abdomen before taking baby for the inverterogram. So if you follow all these criteria, it gives excellent result. It gives you excellent interpretation. So with that, we come to the end of the lecture. Uh, I am Dr. Anil Joshi. Thank you for giving me your valuable time. You have given me your valuable time. I try to explain you in my capacities how to take an inverterogram, how to interpret it, and how to avoid certain things by taking an inverterogram. Please note, radiology is not a number game. Radiology is a continuous process. Be a part of this process and enjoy. You can enjoy knowledge also, you can be beneficial to the patient also and with that you can justify your knowledge. I am Dr. Anil Joshi. Log on, take with me again. Definitely we are going to have more and more series and more and more educational series and that will be looking. But till then, take care. Try to go for a best platform that is the Inotogram. 
try to interpret in nice ways, try to correlate that with the operative finding or subsequent findings and give your best to the babies. They need it.